the place for comic book and anime reviews. Just got the big Brian Michael Bendis announcement today, you guys. And that is that Bendis is going to be taking over for the Legion of Superheroes in this new um, big event thing called DC Millennium. Um, it's going to be the event after Leviathan. So we're going to get another business event after Leviathan ends, and it's going to be called Millennium. And it's going to be the big new thing that Ben is going to be doing. Um, he is T Supergirl in this. Um, we see like a hologram of Supergirl and Supergirl in like a big fight. Um, we get T of the death of Superman in one in one image. Um, so Superman might be dying soon. Uh, we get some new little redesign for Legion of Superheroes as well. And somehow they're going to look now. Um... We got some idea of what the story is gonna be of it taking place in this futuristic time world, um, long gone, and you know it's gonna be interesting to see how this all like really turns out um, for Brian Michael Bendis and um, also what is it gonna be for Superman's house going forward and where is it gonna put Superman's path onward? Um, we just don't know right now. I don't even know how Leviathan's gonna turn out. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Although if some of the reviews are true, then it looks like it's, it might be a pretty good event. Maybe, hopefully, uh, we don't know. It's only one issue that's come out so far, um, so we'll see how that all turns out. Um, but you know, I'm pretty excited to see Legion of Superheroes coming. Um, despite my um, problem with the Young Justice title going on right now. Um, I am excited to see what Legion of Superheroes is going to be like and how it kind of like culminates together. Um, even if like, you know, I feel like them is going to like screw up somewhere along the line. Um, especially with writing so many titles right now and him being so central onto DC's line right now. Um, Although, I guess he's going to end up leaving Superman if he's going to be killing him off. Um, we'll see how that all turns out. I'm not looking forward to um, that part, the whole killing off Superman again idea. But who knows, it might be necessary in order to, you know, get him, I mean, get him out of the hands of Bendis for a little while anyway. <laughs> Might be a little bit better because I'm not enjoying his Superman role at all. Um, but I'm I'm interested in seeing where Legion of Superheroes go goes forward. Um, I think it can be a really cool, interesting event um, for DC and for Brian Michael Bendis in general. Um, and I, I just I just I just can't wait to see where he takes this and what he does with the characters. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this big splash announcement of Bendis taking over Legion of Superheroes. Um, we also got Judge of Society coming too, so everything from Doomsday Clock is really like tying itself up. And that makes sense because we only have like, what, two more issues of Doomsday Clock to go and then the whole event's over. Hopefully they come out on time, they don't get delayed. Otherwise, I'm sure that would probably mess up all this stuff that we're getting. If it gets delayed again, but hopefully it won't. Um, but everyone knows on this topic, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to talk about this topic, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <music>